Back in the day, not long ago, people were stupid, didn't you know? If you just look back less than 200 years, the stuff they believed will reduce you to tears. Back in the day when you became out of breath, when your lungs started struggling and you were close to death, the Georgians turned to an extraordinary phenomena. Their first port of call was the tobacco smoke enema. Headaches, colds, or a pain in the tum, their solution was a pipe up the bum. They'd pump the smoke through and through, or they'd go for chicken broth, that worked too. Fast forward to the Victorian era. Unfortunately, medicine was not that much clearer. Market standards were pretty lax, and when it came to drugs, they hadn't quite grasped the facts. Mrs. Winslow's soothing syrup and the Bayer Company sold drugs to the public and made a lot of money. Sold as quieting restless infants and small children, much later they realized the syrup could kill them. Containing large amounts of morphine, ammonia and opium, it was sold alongside a brand of liquid heroin. How long ago did they sell this absurdity? Well, it was only taken off the shelves as late as 1930. Today we live in a world where people really care, at least about the way they look and how they do their hair. Throughout history, concerns were much the same. People wanted to look good in order to stay in the game. When you hear the word arsenic, you know it's not a good thing, but many used to bathe in it to improve their aging skin. Enough to kill 50 people could be bought for a single cent, but that's not the only place where people's beauty money went. Electropathy and magnetism could cure a variety of ills. From muscle weakness to hair growth could even help flat-chested woes. But despite everyone looking great, if you still needed a little help, impotence could be cured with a new cock-shocking belt. As humanity marches on, we strive for equality. And we might not have it yet, but it's better than it used to be. We used to think modern life stressors could give women a nervous disorder. Almost every ailment possible was diagnosed as female hysteria. A tendency to cause trouble or sexual dissatisfaction meant a weekly pelvic massage all the way to orgasm. In 1873, the vibrator came along. But if this was the treatment needed, then surely the men were doing something wrong? That pretty much sums it up. But there's one thing we're forgetting. If you're still not better, don't panic. There's still bloodletting. So all you need to do is give some blood and your problems will be gone. That's all from us. Get better soon. And don't try these at home.